Harvey Levin is the founder of TMZ, also hosts Objectified on Sundays at 8 p.m. right here on Fox. We're proud to have him. He has the very latest on this story and has from day one. Harvey, what is the latest? Well, the latest is um, pretty shocking uh, that Harvey Weinstein's daughter called 911 at about 11 this morning uh, and reported that her dad was suicidal uh, and depressed. Uh, and there was a major argument uh, that went down outside of her home. Weinstein was there. Um, they took it into the street. Um, he was screaming at his daughter, you're making it worse. Um, he tried flagging down a random car to get away, uh, didn't get in the car. Uh, they went back in the house. Um, Harvey came back out, jumped in a black suburban. Before the police arrived, they came roaring over uh, because of the 911 call. And at that point, uh, Remy, the daughter, told police, well, it wasn't really a suicide attempt. It was just a family dispute. So she backed off what she had called about. But, you know, obviously, you know, this is a guy whose world collapsed. Uh, yeah. You know, his wife left him. He lost his job. He is now the subject of scorn and ridicule all over the world. Uh, so it seems like it's taken its toll. So I thought he had left the country, was planning to go to rehab in France. That was the announcement. Is that still going to happen? Well, we didn't say France. We broke the story that the plan yesterday was for him to take a plane out last night and go right. to Europe. Uh, we don't know where in Europe, but we said Europe. It could have been France. It could have been somewhere else. It changed. He did not go last night. Um, I, I, I don't want to say what I know right now, but I will tell you that I wouldn't necessarily bet money that Harvey Weinstein is leaving the country. Right. Um, and um, that story will develop over the next So eight we're to 10 hearing, hours. and I don't know if you can comment on this, that he's the subject of a federal investigation, FBI investigation. Could that be related uh, to what you just said? Yeah, uh, look, I have, I, I have heard this, Tucker. It seems insane to me. I, I can't believe that's the case. I mean, this is not a federal crime. Uh, if there is a crime, um, he hasn't been charged with anything yet. So. I, I know the story. It seems outlandish to me that the federal government would, la would launch an abstract uh, investigation where there is no criminal investigation that we even know of, thinking that he's going to flee the country. First of all, he's allowed to leave the country because there hasn't been a crime alleged yet. So it doesn't make any sense. Well, yes, he can, there go, plenty of he can go anywhere alleged. he wants to go. I mean, he's been accused well, of Well, he can go anywhere he wants to go. Women. That's true. Um, he can go anywhere he wants to go. So what's Martha the Justice Stewart Department investigating? Right. So um, What are they investigating? Uh, I mean, well, uh, he's been accused by a number of women of rape, so that... Well, you know, but that that, they, the haven't even, they, they, they haven't even filed civil lawsuits, but if right. they no, do... That's right. That's true. But still, even if they do, that's still not any basis for the Justice Department to get involved. Right. You know, he can go to Europe and stay there forever. And what's going to happen if there's a civil lawsuit is there'll be a default judgment. But it makes oh. this story makes no sense. And that's so, why, I mean, I, I, it just doesn't make any sense. To so me. The, the, the question is, I think at this stage, who knew what when? You've been there an awful long time. Is it fair to say, can you corroborate what I'm hearing from friends of mine in Los Angeles, that this was stuff that people talked about? Maybe not with the level of detail we have, but that this is not a shock, really. I, I think that's exactly right, that, um, that there have been rumblings of this for a long, long time, many, many years. And, you know, I have heard it. Um, I never heard specifics. I never heard a specific name attached. But it was just kind of lore in the city and talked about by people, right. some of whom worked for the company and left. Um, I know some of them, and they talked. But I never knew the level of specificity that we're hearing now. Um, I do know, and I think you've heard it as well, obviously, you know, for example, Sharon Waxman, who was working at the New York yeah, Times in 2004, actually wrote a story about uh, him allegedly procuring women uh, outside the country. And according to her, uh, in 2004, Weinstein went to the New York Times and they ultimately gutted the article. So that's what she says. Um, you know, people talked about it. There were definitely people looking into it, but nothing was ever reported. Yeah. Harvey Levin, thanks a lot for joining us. Okay, welcome.